All right. Well, hopefully you don't Play feel Marshall guilty about. Oh, we lie. Throwing live. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody, and welcome to Embers by Daybreak. Brought to you by Natural One RPG. <sighs> I am Cisco. I yawn. And, yes, I cannot yawn. <laughs> and today, she yawns. We continue our story with our performers here, having landed on the Levianca after some shenanigans out at sea, where sudden rapid tides uh, almost deterred some infected, uh, they were called marrow, these fishmen who suddenly attacked the performers. Uh, with the help of the second dagger assistant, or the second dagger that was with them, uh, second dagger Albino, the performers managed to fight off these infected marrow and make their way uh, to the Levianca where they talked to second blade Tycho and also met uh, fourth blade Chie, who seems to be acting the role of first mate. Once they got there, uh, Percival underwent a almost begrudgingly underwent this uh the finale of a blade ceremony uh in order to become one of them due to them begrudgingly allowing him to join the, their order due to begrudgingly you know, <laughs> due to his selection by a maiden in red someone who the rest of the performers have no idea who it is a port but, person right once Percival was fully uh, made into uh, a blade uh, so you can now say he is for fourth blade Percival uh, and sudden explosion in the distance rang out excuse me and uh, all at once everybody was reminded of their original task to investigate the nearby ships for any signs of a recently escaped David also recently vampirified so with that said, everybody roll initiative. Ah! Oh god, no. I thought I just heard a, a thing in the distance. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> 15. <laughs> Sorry. Chain shift. Uh, 21. 15. 21. 21. Uh, press roll roll for Terry. Uh, 17 was the roll. I don't know what her ads are. 17 was the roll. 21. Right. Uh, uh, for Percival, you have the most decks, so you have a 21 plus. Uh, What's uh, very chaotic right now? What's going on? Right? I, well, uh, I mean, I had to change the overlay. Roll D20 for Nefra. I, was okay. saying, I, had to, I had to change the overlay and whatnot, so I was like... Uh, 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 a 12 natural. 12 natural. All uh, right, that's 16. Really? It's a 16 for him. Oh, kudos to him. Wow. But yes, so. I'm suck. Love <laughs> this. What the heck? Fuck it, you suck. Oh, I rolled mm -hmm. well. Right? So, as you're all on the poop deck of, of the uh, of the Levianca, you're being led by this um, strange fellow. He looks almost like a Derekai, except more feline in in, uh, in appearance. His, his head is actually that of a of some sort of leopard as such and as he's leading you to these cannibal things that were previously covered they've been quickly uh, uncovered to show these strange looking catapults that are facing the way towards the bow of the ship and forward uh, to wherever you all think this might be how they've been launched themselves to other ships let's see here well, yes you see the um this uh, feline fellow uh, approaching them as he's uh, motioning you to go on them. He says, yes, yes, so make sure you go in stiff as a board. You want to stay perfectly straight. You're going to look up. Do not tilt your head up or down. Wait, wait, You're going to start spinning. <laughs> wait. <laughs> Questions for later. Get on. Uh -huh. Let's hurry up. We're in an emergency. Let's get go. The, get, get the Let's go. <laughs> I've been instructed to inform you of our primary procedure in going here and being launched. Take this ring, and I he hands you all one drift wing ring. I drift should wing. say. 
Yes, which I will add to all your inventories right now. Oh no. Um, Wait, is that? Get in there right now! There are, there's four for the four of you. As he's quickly in the cane for you all to go there. Uh, I guess I'll just get in. Right. Uh, I'm confused so just, and weird and, uh, perturbed, but I will get in. Yes. I'm very so, confused. <laughs> so just remember, do not look up or down. Activate the drift ring by concentrating on it and thinking about floating. Where am I supposed That's to That's going to be your thing. Don't worry about it. Just look <laughs> forward. We'll take care of the calculation. Once you start thinking you're falling down, that's when you activate the drift wing. If you activate it too much or too early, you're going to land in the water. If you activate it too late, you're going to die. Me, I guess. But it's nothing too big. It's fine. We've been trained for years to do this, so you learn this been. in the next few minutes. We'll be fine. God, so get on there right now. All right, I'm you guys okay. should all have a drift ring, drift ring now. Yes. Sure, yeah. <laughs> Uh... It's in your inventories. All right. Now with that, always remember, hold in your breath as you're being launched. The last thing you want to do is lose all your breath after launch. You do not want that. Losing consciousness is a bad thing. He's saying that she's so in twirls. I've heard. The, ta tw the tail is swaying back and forth. All right. Get on. Uh... Of course, play Chia. Are they clear to launch? And you see Fourth Lady Chia looking out with a spyglass ahead of you through the opening that is on the poop deck. He's like, and not yet. I just them two knots upwards. Uh. Like, All right. I just them two knots upwards. And you see uh, two more daggers come out. You can start to differentiate them by, the, by their uniforms. Uh, what's a dagger? What's a blade? Um, and you see two more daggers come out and adjust some of the catapults. Uh, tying them up ever so slightly. One of them on yours, Petricor, pauses, looks at it, twists one more time. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Looks satisfied, walks away. And as you're all on there, you're all uh, laying down uh, with your back before. to the port facing upwards. Neither have I. <laughs> I prefer... <laughs> head, head first uh, towards the part, or to the front part. Yeah. All right, last thing, if you have any loose articles, say goodbye to them. They're going to fly away. Hold on to your weapons tightly. Remember, you're going to spin. If you start spinning, might as well activate the drift wing. If not, you're going to die. And if you lose consciousness, you're already dead, and we barely knew you. We'll send two other daggers with you to assist. You need to verify to see if there's any survivors and to see if this target that you're all looking for is on the ship. Are you ready? I don't know. Good. Uh, Fire! <laughs> Good. And then you you all hear four different loud thwacks as you're as you're all feel this immense pressure as you force. <laughs> as you all feel this um uh sudden G force on you as you're launched forward, uh, air, uh from your initiative rolls. Oh. I tricked you all. Ah. I just needed basic dexterity rolls, oh. but you all succeeded. Who? I'm like, I have good dexterity. Right. As you all start sailing for it's a strange feeling being launched. There's a there's a slight uh, pressure on your knees, uh, your force of being launched <laughs> forward, but you are sailing uh, over this area real uh, quick. And then as you're feeling the, this, this uh, pseudo flight. Uh, that's almost enjoyable, had it not been for the fact of the suddenness of it all. Uh, you do feel the sudden dip as you're reaching the apex of your uh, flight trajectory. What do you go, all do? Go, ring, go! Uh, yeah, activate the ring. <laughs> all right, we'll see that you all activate your rings. Uh, as you activate, you see it, it shines up. The ring itself is a it looks to be an iron band with the design of a feather. Right on top of it, that kind of goes over your pinky as well. Um, it uh, will depend where you ever you put it is up to you. Um, but as you all activate, you feel you all use that one charge, and you feel a sudden uh, resistance towards you as you start to fall, and then you realize you're falling a lot slower now. And as you all turn around, you see this flaming ship in front of you. It looks to be no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. You, you, uh, half of it looks to be oh, on dear. fire and somewhat sinking into the ocean. The other half seems completely fine, untouched by the flames. Okay. Aim, aim to the left. Aim to the left. 
Uh, and you see that by the way you're falling, since mm -hmm. you all fell pretty well, or were all launched pretty well, you're going to land on the unaffected parts. Okay. Seems that these um, these it's silver guard know what they're doing. And as you're starting to land, uh, you see fire all around uh, where the regular quarters are towards the back. This is about the size of a keelboat, by the way. You've been on several of these. Usually it's just one room in, one room in the back and then the long front. This one has a, uh, has a bottom deck as well, uh, just for storage. And you see uh, that back area, or also the entrance to the, to the below deck, is currently on fire. And some of the wood splintered out. It seems like something exploded outward. And you see one person sitting okay. at the bow, just sitting there. It doesn't take too long for you all to land uh, softly. Or let me have you all roll d20s. Let's do a acrobatics for this one. Uh, uh oh. What are you? Oh, you're a knight. <laughs> all right. Well, my acrobatics. My my uh, my. my my bonus is pro may at least prevent me from dying. Twelve. Uh, yeah, mine 12 is eleven. Eleven. Yeah, see, it's fine. Mm-hmm. All, All right, right, three. I you, <laughs> oh, ugh. I need you oh, both to. I need you both to roll uh, d twenties. Preston, you're doing it for Nefra. Terry, you're, or Patrick, you're doing it for Terry. All right. I hope he has some decks to him because this roll isn't super great. I feel like um, um, Terry should come and roll for themselves as uh, that was one. That's a one. Yes. Well, All yeah, right. Unfortunately, I don't think he can roll for himself. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, he is a SOL, as we would like to say. I'm sorry. All right. You know, what do I, I do? Percentile. Two times. <laughs> I know. I believe you guys have rolled no, more ones for me than I've ever that. rolled in my entire life. Sorry. Okay. Hey, Two percentiles? Uh, I, it comes with the territory. Uh, I can't percentiles. I rolled yes. my um, for you earlier. So. I don't... So, a 20 and a 70 on my percentile? I don't know. Oh. Dice. What one did you tell me to do this one? You rolled this one. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what was the roll you did uh, for yeah. Nefra, Percival? It was an eight. Eight? Okay, he succeeds. 57. Okay, okay. I didn't know Fifth. how that works. Seven. You rolled Nefra on the fours? Yeah, but it's been a long time. And the fours? <laughs> you rolled them befores. Yes! Oh, no. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Oh. I'm sorry. It, it fits well, because she okay. knows that. Okay. Terry. You I'm land hard. Answer. Mm -hmm. You land hard. But as you land, uh, you your head impacts the deck and your arm shoots out and a strange occurrence happens to you um, internally. The force that you are aware of uh, that's inside of you launches something um, out towards, we'll say, one, two, three, three. Nefra, cool. Awesome. I feel bad hey, for he Nefra. He can't get mad at me. <laughs> He's not here to get mad at me. Right? As you cast Merce Acid Arrow on Nefra. Oof. Let's see here. So. Uh, Percival, roll me a spell attack roll. 17. <laughs> 17, okay. Uh, with Terry's bonuses, I can tell you that is the times a... I would want to roll low. <laughs> right, that's a 24. Oh, God. So, oh, jeez. Oh, yes. oh, God. No. Uh, oh, God. Nefra will take this damage. Yeah. Okay. Will. Oh, that's cool. All right. 44. 44. Six, nine, thirteen. Cool. Oh, and two more. Fourteen and eighteen. All right. Uh, 
Needless to say, oh, man, a... I'm gonna go ahead and guess that the acid arrow is not cold damage, correct? It is not. Okay, never mind then. <laughs> Good question though. But uh, while Nefra initially lands okay, uh, the minutary plasters on the gr on the ground and shoots off this strange spell, which looks like an arrow shaped of um, of this purple acid. Um, it impacts Nefra, and he goes down hard. He's now unconscious. Oh! No! And Terry, you take nine damage. Just from the fall. Oh, Jesus. not going well. And as you all land, and you look forward, and you look at each other, you hear... Shut up. <laughs> Bravo. I, I'm glad you are my rescuers. I get up with a bow. <laughs> Eloquent. <laughs> hey. Yep. Doing Nefra nothing. makes... Nefra succeeds one death save. Oh, he's unconscious. God damn it. The healer's out. The healer's out. We have no healing yet. What do I have on me? Uh, if I... I mean, so I'm assuming now we can look at him and be like, oh, oh, he's, oh, he's not. Oh, oh. he's out. Oh. He's out. <laughs> yep. Uh, he's just laying there, slightly smoldering from the acid. Hmm. Uh, anybody good at... <laughs> I'm good at hurting punching, not hurting healing. <sighs> I can't believe he fell on the deck with acid. I didn't think the boat was made of acid. That's weird. Not helping. <laughs> Fine, I'll, uh, I'll see what I could do. Just uh, whatever, uh, do whatever I could think to stabilize him. Make a medicine check. Uh, thirteen. Thirteen. All right. A plus two to yeah. wisdom. I have some tools. Uh, can cooking utensils help? Do you need anything? <laughs> Some say cooking is the healer of uh, all of I have some extra fabric. Uh. <laughs> heal up. Uh, you, Do you some but, water? <laughs> first of all, you know enough uh, about wounds to be able to patch it up. In this case, you realize that the acid is just about diluting it. So quickly, you just take uh, your water skin, which you don't have, I realize. So you incorporate the use of uh, Petrichor's uh, shape water oh, skill. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to remove, <laughs> to remove the residue uh, acid and you uh, stabilize him. Okay. <sighs> we should never come to that boat. I don't think the boat is what's the problem here. <laughs> That one, the one we came from, to come to this. By the way, you're about 20 feet away from actual fire. Yeah, let's pull him away from there. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I'll move him. You focus on the fire. Okay. The two of you. Uh, both of you. Wait, what about what about the guy over there? Should we talk to him? So, We're busy. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> this fire is, uh, to call it a fire would be, uh, to put it nicely. It is Okay, I can help inferno. with this. And not with the current eat. spells you have. No, no. no. Alright, I'll just, like... We moved um, Nefra uh, away from immediate danger, correct? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'll say that's pretty easy to do. Okay. Um, now we'll go over to the... The dude hanging out. Alright. <laughs> what, <laughs> what you see is peculiar. Mm -hmm. You see a... Almost... Almost unearthly handsome man, uh, tiefling, I should say, black okay. skin, black hair, and by this I mean charcoal black skin. Uh, oh, okay, as just black as night. He's just sitting there in regular, what seems to be merchant clothing, uh, with uh, six little horns coming out of the top of his head. Huh. Uh, you see, he's le he's leaning his face on his on his hand. He is surprisingly very calm, despite the fact there's a radio yeah. inferno several feet away. Um, and you see in the other hands kind of just uh, uh, just tapping on the wood of the crate that he's sitting next to. 
He's kind of arranged himself to sit on a bench and then have a crate as an armrest. And you see six fingers on his hand. Excuse me, sir. You seem quite bothered by our presence. Do you, you want to get off this freaking inferno? You killed my father. Prepared. <laughs> I, Calm down, Tear. Calm down. <laughs> I have no qualms about who you are. I'm glad you all came quite literally soaring in to save us. Hmm. Or me, us. in this case. Oh, okay. That's my question. Okay. I'm assuming you're the only one alive currently, to your knowledge. It's a safe assumption, yes. How many people were on the ship originally? Roughly about a handful. Please give me a solid number. He holds up 12 fingers. Okay. All right, so they, they 11 people joke. died in this. 12. I I'm not good at math, but that doesn't add up. What I should say is there's 12 people currently in the Inferno right now. Uh-huh. I'm 13th. I was lucky enough to be up here. Got it. Safe to say that the people in that Inferno will probably not make it out alive. So you're the only alive one. Let's get you out of here. Before we do that, what attacked you? Uh, Nothing. Some what? product went bad. What product? Y yeah, second that. Um, are you... Uh, what part of whatever continent are you from? That was an Aspirin warship, right? Are you from Aspra? No. Okay. Uh, they're currently they're currently assisting us. We're from a ship called the Ash... Or the Embers. Quite honestly, I think Nephris is the one who's, who actually knows where he's from. Valid. Well, well the, <laughs> I mean, I, the ship. I can tell you where I'm from. Nobody will know where it is. Well, Petra has got no true? idea. I'm from irrelevant. nowhere. <laughs> irrelevant. The ship we came from is right. from the Riv area that no longer exists. Oh, wonderful. Uh, so you're from the Golden Confederacy. That's good. You might know it. Uh, are you aware of the concept of black powder? Oh no! Let's get off! Get off! Get off! Get off the ship! <laughs> That's probably all of it. It was always towards the back. Okay. That would be the. Nevertheless, place. ship still on it's fire. Like... So best Let's to go. go. That's go. fair. How are we leaving? A good question. I don't know. Do you have any? You ha do you have nothing? Do you have any zero lifeboats? ships? Everything was in the back of the ship. <sighs> How do you feel about swimming? I'm a decent swimmer. Okay. And what is the... Is, is the steering wheel also behind the fire? Yes, yeah, so it would be on the poop deck. Funny thing that is. I don't know why, why people laugh at it. Why would you put explosive material <laughs> under don't, every don't, don't important part the of the ship? Just, do, 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 do. I'm, only your sta I'm only your Just... standard company merchant here. Can tell by no, you're willing to do trouble. anything. <laughs> Is he all right? We're just a little irritable because you're we just had a calm friend about pass this. out. You're, yes, you're and you're too calm you're about this. Dead. I'm pointing at the the, the bell child. Is he okay? See, yeah, he's okay for now. We have to go back and get him healed and get you off this burning yes, inferno. Which unfortunately, is going to be nigh impossible unless any of us are <sighs> superhumans and are able to care swim with him to the other ship. I mean, I could do something. Okay. This isn't how I wanted you guys to find out, but I, I Elsa? can't do it. <laughs> what? That's well, a ridiculous no. notion. You should really just let that go. No, it's not the time for jokes. <laughs> I believe okay. it's a wonderful time for jokes. Okay. DM question. Ooh, okay. Uh, uh, fire a away. dwarf, a bard, and a tiefling walk through. No, away. please. We don't have time. I think I know this one. <laughs> okay. <sighs> so, um, I have two spells. Uh, okay. <laughs> Uh, shape water. Can we all stand together in a very small amount of space and use the water to move us? 
So well, everybody creates a chain and I just go for it. Everybody's just hanging on for dear life. Here's the thing. Whenever when we <laughs> discuss about you being able to manipulate shape water so, so yeah. you can walk on water, yeah. it kind of only works for one person. Because the ice is holding a hand. Listen. Yeah, the space needed. Well, Anything... they're not standing. They're just dragged along. <laughs> Are you going <laughs> to drag several people along water? <laughs> I'll move fast enough, but it'll be like a speedboat do. where they just skip along the top. Uh, you'll just yes. dodge all the bullets. <laughs> arms <laughs> back. You're just... Your arms back, just full Naruto run. They're just tied to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That works. That's... <laughs> no, oh, no, I feel like Nefer would die. <laughs> uh, probably. He might actually drown. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Along with everybody else. Uh, you do see... Um, let's see. Who has the highest passive perception? It's probably going to be no. Actually, Percival is kind of shitty on that. Uh, yeah, fifteen. It's almost yes. like, despite my class's need for wisdom, it may or may not have been a subject to something else that when that doesn't necessarily befit me to have higher wisdom. Oops. Complicated <laughs> circumstances. Hooray! Hooray! Right. Um. Oh, has it already been? Oh, those are hours. My bad. We'll say you have three minutes left. So, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, you're fine. You didn't set it for five hours. There we go. Now we're better. All right, uh, Petricor, you do see uh, the sinker slowly making its way to this ship. Hey, uh, buddy, come here. <laughs> but you, uh, yes. there. Use the control the waves to bring the sinker. No, I gotta hang on to it so we can get us back to right. control the waves. They're, they're about good, want to say, uh, 750 feet away. I can swim. Assist they're not, fine. They're not going uh, okay. too fast. Yes, but Early if you push aside, the waves, I do actually have a solution to our problem. Okay, please. All right, I need everyone to stand around in a circle. Okay. Holding hands. Okay. I'm going to need a bit of your hair, Petricorn. Okay. <laughs> What's going to do? Okay. If this is a follow Is Nefra able to walk? Nefra is currently unconscious. We can carry him. Okay, someone's going to need to carry him. Yeah, we, I'll we, carry we, him. we can Ready? bring him into this circle with uh, over her shoulders. <laughs> and I cast water. I'm so proud of water you. Water what? So, water you oh my god. <laughs> It's really, hang on, hang on. So you all gather together, you get in the circle. It's really uh -huh. funny because it goes Percival and Petricor, then this really tall, um, he's about almost seven foot. He's a really tall fellow. He's a um, tall boy. Yep, just standing there, uh, looking very content, very carefree. And then Terry, and then uh, Nephra's lifeless form, just hanging on. <laughs> like okay, at least he's, he's alive. Yeah, being like half weekend at Bernie's by Percival. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you see uh, Terry uh, start to focus in and you see a bit uh, of something shiny come up to her neck for a brief second. That's not the Derekai features. And then uh, you feel a magic go on to you. And uh, yeah, she casts Water Walk on you all. Okay, now, now this, this point, is going to seem need... strange. Everyone, make me dexterity saving throws. <laughs> oh, God. As, as right now, the ship starts tilting more. Okay, let's go again. jump in. You're jumping. Nope, dexterity saving throws first. Oh, okay. No, no, no. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> dexterity. Uh, okay. I'm glad I remembered to level up last session. That's going to be a 12. All right, so Percival got a 14. Uh, uh, Petricor, what'd you get? 12. 12. All right. Uh, Petricor, roll for Terry. Okay, I want to. First of all, roll for ne Actually, no, Nefra fails. <laughs> that was <I'm> 20. <laughs> all right, Terry. You maintain your. You Terry's maintain perfectly your, fine. Yep. She's Everybody, you all, you all managed to grab onto something before you start going forward. Imagine the Titanic. 
Uh, the ship just starts going upwards as it starts sinking, the inferno below. Unfortunately, uh, Percival and Petricor, mm -hmm. you can use your reactions to make a quick grapple check as Nephro's body starts falling towards the, inf the inferno blaze. Yeah! <laughs> 20! Hey! 18! <laughs> Ain't going hey. away! <laughs> you two managed to grab him. Uh, like the monkey that went to space that one time. You two hold him <laughs> uh, limply between you, the two of you. Uh, Nephra, just his head rocking back, occasionally hitting the floor. You feel like that might cause damage later, but you don't care right now. Fine, he's fine, he's okay. As you see, uh, you can detect... You can tell that with some careful maneuvering, you can get to the water. Let's go, 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 go. Jump. <laughs> move, move, move. Basically. <laughs> All right. And. All right. Cool. I just need to get the uh, details of that spell. As you all launch yourselves off the ship. Woohoo. Uh, you see the ship starts sinking more and more. It becomes completely vertical, and then it starts sinking down. Um, around you, you hear... Uh, Cue my heart will go on from Celine Dion. Potentially. Instead, you hear the death, the ship death toll that you're all uh. aware of uh, being played by some of the nearby ships. Uh, oh, as you see job. some people in the distance... Um, some people in the distance looking over, seeing uh, what ship fell over. Big explosion of death definitely caught some attention. But as you all land in the water, you actually go beneath the water for a brief second. Uh, and first of all, and Petrova, because of your high rolls, you mm -hmm. manage to grab to keep hold of Nephra as you two suddenly feel some magical presence lift you up to the surface. And before you know it, you all are all damp and wet, but you're now simply standing on the surface i'm always except, damp yep except for <laughs> and there it is there it is there it is i'm made of water <laughs> yes the <laughs> we started in march i have not regretted it since <laughs> All right, uh, patch core. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And an inspiration. Good job. Woohoo! You've made inappropriate humor based on your <laughs> semi aquatic body. <laughs> I reward you for it. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, you're all just standing there on the water. Uh, sinker is, being, is still off in distance. They look like they're having some difficulty with it. Um, despite the, the enjoyment I think we could have of walking on this water, uh, might I suggest we move very quickly towards that sinker as much as we can, as we don't know when this will end. We can walk it back. I don't think walking is the option, so I'm just going to try to run it and start running it. It's like, booking it. <laughs> well, I have in. a whole nephra on me, so I'm trying to do the best I can. Yeah, you two are still kind of holding nephra between the two of you. He, yeah, so I'm he just is... kind of like... He is, yeah, he is waist deep into the water. He, since he's unconscious, the spell doesn't take effect on him. That's why it's, it's get him over the shoulder. Let's, and then I just kind of like forcibly drag her forward quickly <laughs> to get her to move. <laughs> well, bam. All right. Petricor, you're being forcibly moved by Percival to go forward. Oh, Jesus. Come. Okay. We'll get there. Calm down. You see the tall tiefling, uh, charcoal skin tiefling man. It has been the best rescue I've ever been through. Well, I'm glad we could have a great rescue. Now let's get back to the ship. Remember to tell your friends. Oh, they're all dead. They're back on the ship. Well, if you ever see them again, remember to tell them. Probably not. They're probably going to a very bad place. If it's those things. You don't think you're going to go to the same place there, pal? I know. I have some favors. Hey, guys. I just have a question. Okay. Um, we're bringing this man back to the ship full of people who hate people like him. Is that 
<laughs> good point. Remember to have fun with that. It's a very good point. Oh yeah, so I do remember the Esperin of hatred for devils. It's fun. But I mean, they've met Night Frog. Yeah, I'm I'm with you, man. I I suffer a similar. Thing. It's understandable. Don't to worry. Fair, they're less likely to be, I think, very friendly. Mine's all good. They're coming they hate from a devils. Ship that has exploded. I'm just gonna take a wild guess and say they're gonna blame you for the fire. Most likely, but it's fine. Uh, they hate devils. My, I'm uh, demonic and lenient, so we're all good. Well, luckily for you, despite my attire, I'm not part of them by nature. So if anything, I will we will figure out whatever justice we can. The best thing right now, though, is to move. Oh, is that the oh, uniform no, they wear? No. It's been while since I've seen the Civil Guard. Regardless, we need to move. Let's move. Quit yapping. We can move and yap. I actually prefer a nice stroll. Yeah, this is quite interesting. By the way, as you're walking, it's like walking on uh, difficult terrain. Just the waves of the ocean. You're kind of walking on top of those waves. This the strange feeling of uh, trying to maintain your footing through all this. Uh, uh, but Would it be difficult terrain for me, though? No. Okay. However, so, but with Nefer, it would be difficult terrain, me. so it evens out. Mm -hmm. Well, since you two are kind of just uh, dragging Nefer along, I would say you two are moving at half speed. Okay. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. So, as you see, the sinker is now fast approaching you, but there's still a good ways out. All right. We'll just keep on trucking. So what kind of stuff did you sell anyways? Explosives? Oh, explosives, weapons. Um, occasionally some people, but the company dabbles in everything. A who? What? Back up. Yeah, what kind of weapons? No, you sold people? Occasionally. Some branches do. Our branch is more. Actually, I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah, we did sell people. Is it... People, money people, money. or half up, people. Whatever it became available. Slave trade became a big thing after the... Uh... Oh, my history's been a bit off uh, since hey, the end was well. The... Hey, hey, Terry. Hey, can you just uh take the spell off him? Uh, hey, you know, you I never tried. Let me, let me take a look. One... By all means, go for it. You're just going to stand there waiting. And you can, if you want. You can uh, dispel it for... Look, at this point, I am just waiting. At this point, we might as well just wait. Uh, if I take it off him, I take it off all of us, so no. Ugh. Also, honestly, at this point, we might as well just wait and let, let, these, let these empire... That's a who? Like, empire folks just deal with uh, him. Yeah, yeah, sure. Well, that, was, that was a long time ago. Don't worry. You're all safe. The world's ended. What else am I gonna do? Be an ass. Yeah, that is a fair, fair thing I can do. Okay. Well, if you want to keep standing there, there, fine. But we're continuing to move. Oh yeah, I'm moving with you. No worries. Were there any slaves on that ship? Ah, uh, no. That is the honest truth, and that's weird coming from my mouth. Well, no. I'm just a simple smuggler for the company. I used to be based in the Stoner province. What company do you work for? The company. The company? Is that the, the name? Yes. Hmm. Interesting. We're very prominent in the Stoner province. Or at least we were when there was a Stoner province. Valid. Yeah, uh... I would say you, everybody can be able to get this unless you have a negative in your intelligence, mm -hmm. which nobody does, thankfully, except for Nefer, <laughs> but he's unconscious. <laughs> That's a my charisma. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, you all do know that the, um, Patrick or you barely, but you all do know that the uh, Sono province is part of the Sosko and Free States uh, that were north of the Ianroar province, which was annexed by the Golden Confederacy. Uh, a couple of decades ago. Okay. 
you know, in case you wanted the history lesson. Exactly. Good to know. It comes in space. recollection of whatever this company is? Oh. Make me a history check, Percival. You might, actually. I would like to also do a history check. If Go I for it, Patrick, or you actually would, too. Mm-hmm. 18. 18? Okay. Mm-mm. Petro, what'd you roll? That's going to be like a like a six. Okay. Petro, you have no idea who these people okay. are. Okay. Uh, Percival, on occasion, your family would go to representatives of the company to buy certain materials in order to hunt certain monsters. Uh, while the regular markets were, uh, were more than enough to supply some things, there's certain uh, materials that were too... That required more discretion or to obtain. We have a complicated style of hunting. Yes. Uh, there's, uh, he just kind of his answer, or walks with you all. Mm-hmm. Yes. We walk in. There's probably one or two more company smuggling ships among the fleet. So I personally don't know them. Well, hopefully they don't explode. Yep. Most likely they will. After a while, uh, all it takes is one little spark for everything to ignite. Cool. Great. Mm. Fabulous. Yeah. Well, now that everybody else is out, I feel like this is a great time for a fresh start. May you play honest. Apparently so. Hmm. Might I recommend sticking with just weapons? Perhaps. Maybe. I'll see what I can do. Man, yeah, so you all seem lovely. Oh, tell thanks. Me. I try. Tell me. I think he says that makes him sound so incriminating. <laughs> tell me. You said you are from the Ember? Yes. That is where we currently reside. Kind of. Wonderful. Do you think they have a spot for one more? You know, well, as the Captain, first mate, I uh, might may have to make an executive decision. I, I see. I thank you already for my admittance to the Ember. No, 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 no. They're, they're te- 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 oh, no no mean like to play a coy. I appreciate I would it. Put him, I, would, I would send him to... Uh, Sorry, what was that, first of, of the, all? It's a little loud of the waves. What's the name of the ship with the with the the Empire people are from? Oh, the Empire people, the Levianka. If I if you would like my suggestion, I would take them to the Levianka first. Think of it as a well, security checkpoint. Yes, I mean that that is where we are headed as is closest right now, um, and we and we need to take care of our friend Nefer right now. So, and this is the most capable on the ship is the most capable doctor in the moment. No offense to you, Percival, but right here. Just, just yeah, right I'm over not there. a doctor. So, yeah, your speaking friend, of Nefra, I uh, take no offense. Mr. Tiefling Man, since uh, you dealt in weapons, have you ever seen a weapon like his? He loves it dearly, and I know nothing about it. He looks at the glaive. Do not touch. Of course not. Even I know not to touch another man's weapon. You do not go grabbing shafts, is what a friend of mine used to say. <laughs> but he, he looks at it. And you see him wave a hand. Uh, and then uh, you've seen this happen to Nefra a couple times. Uh, and you all would know this because you've been exposed to it before. Uh, he is casting Detect Magic mm-hmm. as uh, his eyes uh, glow faintly with arcane energy. He looks at it. That's peculiar. It's a very peculiar weapon. Where did, he, where did he happen upon this artifact? Don't know. He does not like to talk about it. Yeah, and oh. usually just holds it until he sleeps and then drops it when he wakes up. That's all I really know about. Yeah, it. if you're wondering about why or not, why or why or why not, it may appear to be strange. Trust me, we're all aware of the fact that it is very strange. <laughs> we're see. all a little strange. He then looks at you, Terry. You're curious too. Yes, I'm uh, like a cat person. We'll leave it at that. There's so much more. Such enchanting aura you have there. 
Yes, thank you. But my eyes Again, are here, and keep it at that. Everything he says sounds so incriminating. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm not currently looking. I'm, uh, you know, trying to survive more than date. I appreciate your, uh, your concern. Oh, no worries. I'm not looking for anything serious. <laughs> In fact, I mean the conversation he... you're having back there. But can we maybe make it to living areas first? Oh, we can include you, uh, shiny boy. <laughs> Sorry, boy. <laughs> I don't discriminate. Son of a bitch, you're lucky that I have actual <laughs> mortal problems to deal with now. Okay, so regardless, you've never seen anything like the glyph before. Okay, that's all I need to do now. Yes, or the book you're carrying. Quite interesting. Yeah, I'm only on page four. Uh, you know, don't spoil it for me. Don't spoil it for me. I'm sure it's an interesting read. Perhaps we could chat about it sometime over water. You know what? I will have to think about that. Let me uh, head on home first and guess you up. And uh, I'll call. Don't, don't call me. I'll call you. Wonderful. <laughs> no worries. I expect nothing. And he keeps on walking with you all. By that point, the sinker has arrived. Um, and you do see two daggers on there. One of them you recognize. It is uh, second dagger albino. The other one uh, looks to be um, another dagger, but this one uh, seems the hints of their skin uh, that you can see through their armor and the bits and pieces where it's exposed uh, uh, showcases or displays Bluish skin. Okay. So, yeah. Hello. <laughs> Albino, please. Yes. Can you help? Can you carry? Can you bring Nefer into the boat? Is there more? Is there room? Uh, yeah, of course. He he passed out. Um, he's stable him. now, but we have to get him over to the doctor. Absolutely. Um. When is it? Just the two of them on the boat. Yes, mm -hmm. it's just the two of them on the boat. Well, then I would presume that. Pretty, I would. Yeah, personally, you get. I'm, I'm, I'm going to walk fit. alongside because I can. No, you can all fit in there. I'm good. Oh no, wait, you can't. No, There's this is for you. People. So one person has to walk along. Yep. Yeah. Well, well, then, at some point, this. Yeah, I was going to say at some point the spell will wear off. So. It's okay. That's why I have shape water for. First May, it was a pleasure to meet you. I. I will always honor your sacrifice here at sea. Thank you for allowing us board passage as he takes a step into the sinker and just calmly and gently sits down. Uh, the two silver guard look at him and then look at all you. Yeah. Okay, we have some... This is the only person that was alive on the burning vessel back there that actually doesn't even exist anymore because it's under the, under the waters. Uh, I know you have some tension been there but just he's just a plain old plain old sleazy asshole so just leave him be and we'll we'll see if there's anything anything to him when we get back sleazy okay. asshole that's the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me oh, you're you're welcome you deserve both words thank you Even so much more. Look, never I'll be no looks <clears throat> oh. nevertheless he is going to go he's going to the leviaka first Mm -hmm. I think it's better that the second blade maybe has a word with him. Oh, of course, fourth blade. You see him sharply sit back onto the, bo the boat with uh, both oars right there while waiting for the rest of you to go onto the sinker. Everybody hop in. I'll walk. <laughs> you stretch my legs anyway. All right. And as uh, the rest of you enter the, sh uh, the ship, um, Petricor, despite everything, uh, this gentleman, gentleman seems to have chosen the seat next to yours. Me? Yes. Or first of all. Well, oh, I'm wait. walking. No, Terry. My bad. My bad. Terry. Terry. That you're walking. I'm like, uh, I'm Terry. walking. Now, first of all, you're sitting next to a limp Nefra who looks like 
who really right now looks like he's just soggy and he's leaning on your shoulder as if he's had one too many. It's fine. <laughs> I can keep him this way. It's okay. Yes. As uh, the you know, two... we'll never really know what made him knock out in the first place. Too. Bad. It's quite peculiar. Well, I'm glad to see the child still lives. Cool. This is great. Oh no. This is wonderful. Oh no. That's the first time anybody rolled a critical low. Oh god. <laughs> Welcome to our favorite show. <laughs> See, it's because I wasn't steering. Right. Welcome to our favorite portion of the show, Sinking with the Sinker. Oh, no. Oh, God. It brought you by Embers by Daybreak. Uh, unfortunately, the other dagger that's now Bino has rolled a natural one. So with that... We got a lot of ones today. Right? It's Almost two. Like, like last Great. time, too. Oh, interesting. Ah, Nice. I don't know. This is fun. Oh, God. Everybody's doing great. We're all happy. I don't like that. Don't There's like this. No pain. Only death. Yep. No uh... pain. Only death. As Petricor. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. You're kind of floating. You're just floating on the water um, for right now, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh no. As a harpoon misses you terribly with another natural one. Oh my god. <laughs> Jump out of the way. Yeah, it doesn't even hit you. You just yeah. see it. It's like five feet away from oh. you to the left. It just Who hits dare? nothing. This is fantastic. Oh boy. <laughs> Look it around. Yeah. Did whatever threw the harpoon get cops? No. But, Percival, do you remember the thing that, uh, the thing that the creature that killed you, uh, initially, what it oh. rolled with the natural one? I remember. Not entirely, no. Cool. All right, uh, bear with. <laughs> please wait warmly for one second as I look at the item list. What number was it? Ninety-two. Oh. Don't worry about it. Sure, nothing bad is going to happen. I mean, yes, of course. <laughs> it depends. It does depend. A loaded question. Right? It's really weird. Oh, this is hilarious. Right. We're, we're going to do that. Everybody. I recall now. <laughs> Everybody. Uh huh. Roll initiative. As you hear a screech from a, from a distance away, uh, as you see more of these fishmen that, that attacked no. you earlier come out. Get out. Uh, this time, more in numbers. There seem to be five of them now. Can I push the can I push the boat like a sled? Like a bobsled? You can <laughs> definitely try on your turn. Well, I got a nineteen. A nineteen. Mm -hmm. I have a ten. Oh buddy. Alright, nineteen. Percival's ten. Uh Percival roll for oh actually. Yeah. Percival roll for Terry. Uh, that's two. Sweet baby so, Jesus. So close. Terry's bonus makes it a six. All right. Bonus. The creature. These are initiatives. They're honestly yes. not the worst thing to roll low on. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's Sometimes true. it isn't the best thing to go first. All Valid. right. Uh, the daggers. Doop, doop, doop. Give me one second because I need to find this. Ba -da 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 -da. <laughs> I'm having oh, so much fun. Perfect. We're having so much fun. It's fun, fun day. 
Here, out this in the sea. This song is really original. <laughs> the world's destroyed. But we're having fun. We're having fun. Cool. They rolled a seven and a six. So Albino has a seven. And his friend has the six. And Perry will go first between the two of them. Cool. Are you guys ready? You know, as much as we ever will ever be. All right. Uh, I'm glad you said that. Because on initiative 20, you see a stream of water in the middle of the sinker. Or start flowing from the middle of the sinker. As if you recall, the first natural one was from one of the rowers. Yep. The sinker is now taking on water. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Life is great. Life is great. Uh -huh. How far away are you from the Lavianca? Oh, you're about 750 feet. That's your favorite time of... Time of uh, time <laughs> measurement. Yeah, no, I am. Um, yep. He says it 10 billion percent of the time. I do. Those numbers do agree with me. All right. So let's see here. This is hilarious, and I love it. <laughs> okay. This harpoon just got a lot better. All right, top of the round, Petricor. You can see okay. this creature coming up about 10 feet behind you. I'm going to attempt to push the boat. Okay. So in that case, you're just pushing the boat along the water? Yeah, I'm trying to push it in the direction of the Levianka. Make me a athletics check. Athletics, athletics. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Two. Plus that. Ten. Oh, I thought you just said 17. two. Seventeen. Sorry, I was mumbling. Seventeen. You are fine. All right, so seventeen. The boat is now going. Oh, she's fine. You say? It's <laughs> no. Her uh, her the boat's now going its regular uh movement. Okay, okay, okay. We're going, boys. We're going. <laughs> yeah, we're still it's still, still taking on water. Temporarily, but we're still living. We're still going. We're moving forward. We're moving. Yep, Just keep still. on destroying the water that's in the boat now. <laughs> you would, but that's an action. And you can yeah. only do that once. That's okay. You got it. Yeah, you got this. Is there anything else you'd like to do in your turn? I just keep, keep on trucking. I can't do anything else. I'm assuming that's my full action to push a boat. Yeah, so just keep on pushing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and next. All right. Next one up. Percival, we'll see you go first. Okay. Uh, so how far are these creatures? These creatures, there is one approximately... Now, we're going to say 20 feet away from you. There's another one closer, about 15 feet. And the rest are uh, 30, 35, and 40, respectively. Well, uh, how long were we, like, running around? Before, before we got to the ship, like, did it feel like a long while, or... About 15, 15 minutes. No, not even that. Uh, good 10 minutes. Okay. I was like, I was like, did it feel like time really passed? Not really. Okay. In that scenario. Well. I can't... I don't have... I don't have ways to build on this boat. Yeah, you can clearly see all the other enemies. I'll tell one of the blades. Do any of you have a? Wor <laughs> Do any of you have one of those crossbows? Hey, you see the one that's trying, one that's rowing up, 
put down the oars. Um, it's Albino, who's... Uh, no, actually, no. It's the other one, the one with the uh, bluish skin. Looks at you. Uh, yes, Blade, we're all issued one, and she does pull out one. Right. Give me some bolts. Let me borrow <laughs> while you fix the hole. <laughs> uh, take it. It's loaded. I'll give you bolts in a second. All right. Cool. You take a... <laughs> My precious. <laughs> you take a light crossbow. Awesome. And that th blade never saw the crossbow work. <laughs> uh -huh. mm -hmm. Maybe. Mm -hmm. It depends what happens. You know, you never know. <laughs> right. The chaos of battle, you know, it's, it's crazy. It's chaotic, one would say. You never know. Things get lost. I don't know. All right. Let's see. All right. I'm going to roll. Okay. Just shoot it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the closest one that's coming to us. Okay. Sounds good. Ah! Hey, yes! What'd you get? Uh, that is a 30, which means it was a natural 20. Jesus! Yep. Take him out! Take him out! For D8. That's a D8. Your bonus is plus 10? That's... Why do you think I wanted the ranged weapon? Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I, I have ra like my I'm fighting style. I have a fighting style. <laughs> that's fair. Which All is right. archery. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so I really wanted it. All right. We uh, understand now. The total is 11. <laughs> 11 damage. I only rolled the three. All right. Unfortunately, uh, but. <laughs> you take it and you, fo and you focus forward towards the... Uh, uh, the first creature, the nearest one. I a sharpshooter, but I decided not to. <laughs> you focus and a little you... paranoid. <laughs> I know, and I'm pr I am pray on that every day. But you find a way, it lands somewhere in the chest, and you hear a gurgling scream as you see a red and violet, uh, ic or black and violet <laughs> ichor fall into the water from the wound. Sorry, my cat just tried jumping up and fell right on her ass. <laughs> I got really distracted. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, no. Known as a treat. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> she needs to be protected. <laughs> For herself, apparently. Um, yeah. But apparently. Is there anything else you'd like to do? Uh, I will... I don't know why, but for some reason, the way I said that, I really felt like I said that with, like, a walking phoenix, kind of. So, or Christopher Walken, phoenix. I meant. <laughs> Christopher Walken type of way, like, I will not. <laughs> oh, wait, I need to read some things, so. Wait. Yeah. Wait. Wait. Uh, what wait. is the... Wait. I, what do wait. I... Aha, I only need a bonus action. I wait. will use my Crimson Right take him of out. Radiance. All right. So you take... Five you... points of damage. Why didn't... Why didn't it... Oh, that's because I'm dumb. I did, I did negative five damage. So it did nothing. <laughs> I uh, fixed that. <laughs> Proud of you. So it's five more damage to the thing, or is it that? No, for the I next take deck? five damage. So it okay. won't. It won't matter for this turn. I should have did it beforehand. Yeah. So this is for later. All right. Um, but yeah. I take my five damage. Um, I I do the extra D four as we determined. Um, Sounds and then if, if they're undead, it's an extra plus two. But otherwise, then... uh, you look forward and you see they are clearly somewhat living. Right, I'm just saying. But otherwise, yeah, then it'll just be the extra D4 later. But for yep. now, all it does is make me lose five of my health, including the max health. Nice. Though it can't. Sadly, as much as we love our D&D &D Beyond, it isn't perfect. <laughs> no, don't worry. And, I got uh, it for you. I just have to know that my max is... Oh, yeah, I have to override my max, actually. There we go. I got it. Just refresh your page. No. Wait, why was my... Why did I have an override before? I don't know why. There was a reason. Was there? 
There had to be. I don't. I wouldn't just do that on nothing. <laughs> All right. Well, here. Give me one second. So I don't know what it was. Was it's it like? Always was it for, was, was it aid? Probably it was aid. Yeah. When was that? Do, do we recall? When I, I think Nefra did an aid at one point. Nefra did an aid mm -hmm. for when you were facing the marrow. So it should still be active. Should it? Okay. Yes, it lasts, for eight, it lasts for eight hours. It's not concentration. Okay. Oh. So which means that technically my max health is my standard health. Awesome. Yes. We're good. Good job. Right of you. Hi, Mona. <laughs> oh, hey. So you all should all right. still benefit from That is the end of my it. turn. Yep, you're all still benefiting from it. Look at that. Good job. Proud of all of you. All right. So that's your turn. Now it's their turn. They don't take any hit lightly. As the one that was hit immediately sinks underneath, and you see it shoot forward as long as everything else. In a flash, air, all of them are around the ship because uh, their swimsuits are around. amazing. Two of them are on Petricor. Mm. Petricor, you get two attacks from this one, from one of them, uh, with their claws and bites. No thanks. Uh, one will miss. Uh -uh. The claws will miss, but it will bite into you with a no. twenty-one hit. <laughs> you know, you take nice five damage. <sighs> All right. Y'all gotta remember, I'm still got like low health again. One roll, the natural one. Yay! <laughs> I'm die, on a die, fire die. today. <laughs> 39. I feel like we rolled a 39 before. I mean, probably, probably at some point. Before. Sure. Neat. Ah. All right. Let's see here. <laughs> Neat. That one takes four damage. Good. They're taking your damage. Yep. That one in particular. They didn't roll too hard. It's great. As it miss, misses uh, second dagger albino as it lashes out with the claw. Uh, it still has one more attack, though. Which will miss. Uh, the fourth one hmm. will make an attack against uh, the other dagger, whose name you do not know yet. Does that actually hit? Let me see here. No, it does not. Barely misses. Second attack. That one will hit, though. As the other... Uh, other one will take a bite, similar to you, Petricor. Mm -hmm. And also take fire damage. Now the last one, the one that's right next to you, Percival. You see it's the one that you attacked. You also see it uh, glaring at you uh, with its um, eyes uh, enraged. There's this strange distortion of the fish face just look, staring daggers at you. You see in it, it's actually crying out violet blood from its eyes. And the weapon it has in its hand uh, seems to almost emit a wicked energy to it. As it will make it, it an away attack. From our, our sketchy guy, our sketchy addition. <laughs> as it will make an attack against you. All right. Do 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 Percival, your AC is sixteen. Within seventeen, it's going to hit you. Hit you. As the harpoon is stabbed into your leg, you take. Oh, that's neat. Three, five, eight, fourteen. You take twenty damage. Ow. And that what? Yep. Excuse as, me. <laughs> as you see this uh, dark energy come emitting from the weapon itself, as it's stabbed into your leg. We do not want round two. <laughs> and that's their turn. Okay. Albino will go next. He'll make attack against one of the ones next to you, or 
Uh, next to you, Petricor. Come on, Albino, but he will miss. Oh God! You can never trust your, anybody. Your sick comedic montages aren't helping you in this fight, Albino. Right. The other one. Ooh, the other dagger makes a natural strike against okay. uh, the other one on the other side of the ship, the one that attacked it. Okay. I forgot what the damage die for a spear is. It's a d6. It's so much. It's crazy. Eight. Ten damage to the thing. Albino, you do. That's your turn. Terry! Terry, what would you like to do? Alright, how many of these things are around? Currently, oh, there wow. are five. Any of them grouped up close together? Uh, I would say the two on Petricor, but there's also Petricor. Hello. And I've never stopped me before. <laughs> All right. So. Okay, one sec. I'm looking to my abilities here. Um. All right. Well, step one. I'm going to beast you. Ooh. Uh, you use one of your wild brace. You see the silver flames emerge again, once again out of uh, uh, Terry's form surrounding her in this reef of beautiful fire. Oh, careful. This dude is might get a heart on from this. <laughs> you see, he is very impressed by this, actually. Like, oh. He That's would a spectacular be show. He is very calm, despite the fact that you're all being attacked. And he's also not making any moves to do anything. I was like, can you help us? Not a fighter. Sorry, I'm only the rescuee. You're not going to be soon. <laughs> I say to myself. <laughs> All right, Prince in Distress. Let's fucking do something. Learn how to fight today. Let's go. Yes. So, yeah. Terry, you activate your uh, Wild Embrace. And then what else do you do? As we... As Terry embraces the <laughs> art. Waiting. Wait. Yes. Wait. Okay, sorry, I was supposed to cast my um, twin spell ray of frost at the two on Petra. All right, the two on Petricor. So, Petricor. Yeah. And first of all, roll me d20s real quick. Okay. Oh my god. 13. 13. That will hit with a dirty 20. With uh. Terry's. Um, total. Terry's hitting. You're fine. And then Percival. Yes. Did you roll the, the 20 for Terry? Oh, sorry. Welcome back. All right, go for it. I rolled a 10. 10? That will Ouch. still hit with Terry's bonuses because Terry has a lot of bonuses. Uh, both of you go ahead and roll me 2d8s. Good one. No. Huh. <gasps> right there. A one. One and a. Uh, well, two oh, two D eight. Twelve a one total. And a two, so that's a th <laughs> three. All right, one takes seven damage. Wait, hold on. It's um, the one is treated as a two since it's cold damage. That's fair. Nine damage. To whom? Uh, to one of them that's right next to you. Okay. Court. Let's see. So that um, would be math. All right. And then, first of all, what do you roll? I got a 12. 12. Oof. That'd be 16. That's a, that's a lot of damage. I'm Gwen. All right. That one's not looking too hot. That's, it's now bloodied. All right, as they both take cold damage. Uh, Terry, I'm assuming that's all you got? 
That's all I can do. All I'm right, so glad Water Walk is in the concentration spot. That's true. Uh, top of the round. Petricor. Me. You have two things next to you. I do, and I'm very concerned. But how are we? Okay, so we've moved. How much closer we are to the ship? Zamianka, I mean. What? 700 feet. Okay, I'm gonna stop pushing for this round and try to whack one of them. Was one of them more bloody than the other? Yes. Okay, I'll go the more bloody one first. Go for it. Go ahead and roll me an attack roll. Yes. Hit them while they're down. Okay, attack is 14. Total? Uh, 14. Oh, it's a plus 6, I guess. Uh, so 20. All right. I, love I the, forget that. Uh, I forget it sometimes. I love the plus 6. Um, yes, <sighs> you do hit. Go ahead and roll damage. And they shake plus three. Um, four plus three is seven. Seven damage. All right. Now for your second attack. You can do the same thing to the other one. All right. That is a nineteen. Nineteen hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Um, I'm going to use two hands for this. To use the dice instead. Ah. Uh, that is a four. Four damage. Did you add your uh Yeah. I got I rolled a one and then I add oh. three. Got it. Not as much damage, but still. Decent. Alright, you have your bonus action. What do you like to do? I'm going to punch the closest one to me in its face. Go for it. Bop. That is a Four. 15? 15, yeah. F 15 will hit. Go ahead and roll punching damage. Roll punching damage. Um, this is... Oh, that's only a four again. Four again. All right. Mm. Wearing it down, but it is dying. Right. Question mark, question mark. All right. Percival. Hey, buddy. What are you gonna do now? <laughs> uh, so is, is the is it just the one in combat with me? Uh, technically, yes, it would be just the one. The other ones are about ten feet away from you. It's probably just gonna continue to chase me. This is a fun game. Yeah. Fuck it. Take the disadvantage. Okay. And shoot him. <laughs> You're shooting the one next to you? Yeah. Go for it. Bastard. Excellent. I rolled an 11 and a 12. Oh. So it makes my lowest one a 21. <laughs> there we go. Damn. That hits. Go ahead and roll damage. As we'll see that uh, the other dagger did toss you the bolts oh, on her you. turn. Yeah. All right, this will have my right damage. Mm hmm. Which would make it a total of 14 damage. 14 damage. All right. Now. Still up. What did Bless you. Check. Now, technically, in order to fire it, you would have to use your bonus action to. Yeah, as that's the thing is, I don't, I don't fully re recall how the loading property handles extra attack. Uh, typically, it would help us. It would be a clickable thing, but it's not. No, which is not but helpful. Let's find out with a one, the searching, a two, two a three. three. Loading. Doesn't require to require one piece of action. You can use an action, put a section, or reaction to fire it. Okay, regardless of the number of attacks you can normally make. I got it. Mm-hmm. So the bonus section went to loading it the first time. So I'm yes. kind of always running into a 
somewhat of a hook on that. Mm-hmm. So that's fine. At least if, you, if you're using crossbows. Yeah, I know. If I get like a longbow or something, it'll be a different story. But right. For now, I am with crossbow. So. Congratulations! Can't wait for the gender reveal party in the next six months. <laughs> Hate you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that that part is correct. You don't you don't have to figure out when it's born. That's true. That's true. That's true. Usually that's the point of the gender reveal. <laughs> <laughs> that's valid. If, if you wait until it's, it's born, it's like bottom. it's not just a gender reveal. <laughs> it's actually it's a it's baby the birth. reveal. <laughs> <laughs> baby reveal. <laughs> Look at my offspring. Um, but yes. Uh, so let's see. Yep, that's just that. So that will be everything in my turn. All right. I will throw you a bone. You can technically kick at it. <laughs> With your extra attack. Sure, I guess. Unarmed strike. <laughs> Make me an attack roll. 17. <laughs> it hits two damage. Woo! <laughs> Woo! As you kick at it, it snarls at you. Gross, dude. It makes an attack against you again. I will hit, unfortunately. Stop. As you are its sworn enemy. I impose oh. d- disadvantage on the attack roll. Cool. Ooh. Aha! My reaction. There we go. Curse you! <laughs> Curses! Um, let's see here. Plus seven. Yeah, that misses. Good Suck job. It. It makes its second attack with its bite attack. It's not the Ouch. sword. The sword is much more concerning. <laughs> Harpoon, really. Or that will miss as well. Is it both of them that are disadvantaged or just one? Uh, use your reaction to pose disadvantage on an, an, an attack roll. So it seems to just be one. All right. So a 22 oh, will hit you. Wait, oh, amp- oh, no. If I amplify it, I could do it on the next attack. But I am mm-hmm. not doing that. Got it. You take eight damage as it bites into you and gets your arm. Or it gets your leg as you kick it. Ow. All right. Next one up. Petrichor. Oh, yes. Yeah, worse. First attack against you. Misses. Second attack against you. Ah, also ah, misses. As it rolls two ah, threes. The third attack from the one behind you. Misses with a eight. Jesus. And last attack. Will hit um, you with a 17? Maybe? Yeah. Yes, yeah. I will hit you. Um, as you take a bite attack. Dodge. Yep. Uh, it rolled a one for damage as you take... Because I keep forgetting the math. Five damage. Aww. Yes, it sucks. One more attack to Silverguard. That will hit quite badly, actually. Wow. It's not natural, but it's still kind of high. Uh, Albino is going to take 12 damage. Gee. No, 10. My bad. No. Ten Who will damage. make these... Hilarious Fortnite montages. Like, hey, Fortnite's over, man. Yeah. It's all he's, been making, he's been making Game & Watch montages recently. What happened now? Natural one. Oh, my God. We are what other shenanigans today. will these creatures get into? It's because I'm rolling so many dice. Yeah, wow. Zany creatures, all right. Woo. All right. <laughs> all right. Uh... <laughs> I love it. Okay. So, Terry. One starts to approach you on the ship. Um, oh, you're approaching me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That was good. That was good. Um, you expect the Meryl to start uh, responding back, but doesn't know common, so it doesn't understand what you're saying. However, it's strange. You see the scales start to peel off its body. Uh, in the sickly way. It's becoming a man. <laughs> as it's molting in a way, but as it detaches, you see tendrils of violet um, just ichor uh, on the back of them. It's as if whatever it's infecting it is now just rendering it armorless as its AC is now a 10. This, this would look absolutely disgusting if you actually saw this. Like... <laughs> Yes. It's like a horrible, horrible peeling. It would be really gross. It's mm-hmm. very gross. Yep. 
It's like that yeah. face melting thing at the uh, at uh, Indiana Jones, but with skate. Yeah. Ooh. All right. Next two attacks against yeah, the clear a wax. Silver Guard or the other Silver Guard. Actually, one will hit. Uh, that's eight damage to the other one. They're still doing kind of good. They're only taking scraping blows, but how long that will happen, who knows? That's their turn. Albion will go next. He will make an attack against the one next to him. Uh, he will hit. Uh, I don't know where my DA is. There is. Ooh, max damage for him. So that's a 10. <laughs> All right. And then uh, the other one will make an attack against the one. It will hit because the AC is now greatly reduced. Um, and that will also be max damage. Jesus. All right, Terry, it's your turn. All five of these creatures are still up. What would you like yeah. to do, Terry? Infuriated. Yes. Destroy them. Destroy. As we wait for Terry to be able to talk to all of us, let's finally remember the, sp the spirit of Nefra. <laughs> oh, buddy. May he rest I mean, well. This kind of worked out. As he's now I... somewhat drowning, as the sinker continues to take on water. He's not face down. He's well, hanging he was, out. He was rolling. Per well, let's see here. Yeah, he's not face down. But he is uh, slightly floating now in the bottom of the sinker. <laughs> As the water continues to uh, come in through the hole. Well. <laughs> Terry. We may all end up uh, carrying somebody. <laughs> Okay, sorry. Um, my turn? Yes. Alright, I'm going to uh, Twin Spell uh, Ray Frost again. One definitely at that Armorless guy. And another one at the late, uh, less bloody uh, nearby pet. Okay, the one less bloody. Cool. Alright. Uh, first of all, Petricor, you know what to do. Roll me D20s. So that... A 10. 10. Ten plus seven is still seventeen. That will hit. Seventeen. That will be a twenty-four. That will extremely hit. Go, both of you roll two d eight. Where are you? Come back. I have three of you in here. Thirteen. Thirteen for one of them. Sick. That's gonna do. And that's a one. Lot of damage for that one. That's a lot of damage. Seven. seven. Still a lot of damage for the other one. Because that's an eleven. 21. They're not Were looking any of those rolls ones? What? Were any of the rolls have a one? Yes. Were any... Yes. It was a six and a one I got. All right. All right. Uh, that one becomes a two. Don't forget. Oh, okay. So it's an eight. So now it's an even number instead of a dollar. Thank you. My OCD has been cured. But. <laughs> All right. This, despite that, I rolled a 13. <laughs> I'm no, I'm, I'm, talking about, I'm talking about the hit points. Oh. Uh, yes. So God. thank you, my host. He has been cured. All right. Terry, just so you know, you have two more sorcery points left uh, that you can use unless you convert spell slots. And then other than that, is there anything else you'd like to do? No. No, I'm, I'm good there. Cool. Next one up, top of the round, Petricor. Yes. I am to... going to, um, my first action will be to destroy the water in the boat. All right. You use your action to cast destroy water. All the water in the boat gets destroyed. Uh, the leak is still there, mm -hmm. but now it's, it, the boat regains some buoyancy from the lack of weight in it. Yes, yeah, just okay, stall okay, out. Okay. All right. And now you have your bonus action. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to... Bonus action. Blurry of blows. Alright, you spent a key point. Which one are you attacking? Um, I'm going to attack the um, last bloody one. Yeah, the last bloody. 
The less bloodied one? Yeah. All right. Go ahead and roll me two attacks. A 16. Uh, that hits. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be more. Like, and an 8. 8 plus 6? No, just an 8. Just an 8 total? Yeah. Ouch. Was right, yeah, no, that, that one will miss. I'll go ahead and roll damage for one of them. Five. Five damage. All right. Yeah, no, it's looking pretty hurt. Looks like they're both at around the same-ish number of damage. Really? Okay, okay, okay. okay. All right. So, Petricor, that's your turn. Percival! Percival! I'll do it again. All right. This time I'll even I'll risk it more. No sharpshooter. All right. I shouldn't have sharpshooted. <laughs> What'd you get? A thirteen. Thirteen. Guess what? That just hits. Oh. Good. <gasps> yeah, good these time. things the, don't the have two. The wasn't super high. <laughs> it's the minus. The minus five made it a three. <laughs> And then it was plus yeah. 10, so yeah, I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> These things aren't built for battle. They're built for killing. See, what was great ah! is if I wasn't under disadvantage, I would have had a 19 as my roll. <laughs> and I definitely would have hit. Mm -hmm. But now, I'll get my plus 10 damage. Go for Gosh. it. Sharpshooter. Shoot. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. So the total is 21 damage. 20 one damage. All right. How do you want to do it for that one? Woo! Right in the face. Yeah. Right. You see, it's still growling at you. The vibe blood now coming out of its mouth as well. It's grip along the harpoon, uh, growing tighter to the point where you see blood coming out of that too. Um, but with a strange, eerie calmness to you, you bring up the, the crossbow, uh, side in quickly, exhale, pause. And then you fire the shots. The shot goes in uh, right between the eyes of this creature. And you see the eyes, uh, the motion just stop for it. As the brain stops functioning and it slightly slumps down. Begins to slump down. But you see it's to have the harpoon into the side of the sinker. Ow! Damn it. Ass. And it doesn't fall into the ocean. It just stays there. It's head now resting on the side of the sinker. The harpoon... <laughs> Uh, Bonus action to kick it off. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Or extra attack action to kick it off, I mean. Okay. Not bonus uh, go ahead and make me an attack roll. With advantage. It's prone, technically. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> hey, I needed it. It's cool. All right. I guess it's not the dice I would have used, but still. Um, yes. Or it is the dice that is the good hit is the one I would have used. Uh, but that's a base 18. So okay, yeah. 22. Uh, with that, its eyes continue to stare at you, uh, now empty, but still feel the rage. You effectively kick it off. Yeah. Its hand does let go of the harpoon, and the harpoon stays there on the side of the ship. Well, I don't believe I... Would it be a, a bonus action or action to rip it off the ship? It would be a full action. In no, order it's like it's like blood leaving in there. Why would I leave this horrible harpoon attached to the boat it's or it'll create another hole it's plugging up the hole right now it's like blood you know you don't want to like just it's actually just on the side you know the side okay, railing of the boat oh, okay. if water reaches it. that hole it's too late <laughs> okay because I, I didn't understand where we exactly it was okay. no i was yeah. totally with you i was like don't pull it out <laughs> yeah like right now <laughs> and it's holding onto it still which is even worse sign Oh no, it does let go once you kick it off. Oh, okay. But still. Yes. Alright. I don't want this thing in a dark ethereal <laughs> goop anywhere near me. Or this right. boat. So is that your turn? Or this man. <laughs> uh I guess I'll just do the bonus action now to re reload. To relube? Is that what you said? I said reload. Okay. <laughs> Calm down. You know. All right, so that's your turn. Now it's their turn, or the ones that are still remaining. Two attacks against you, Petricor. Jesus Christ. Uh, that is a 12 and a 9, respectively. 
Those two mm. will miss. Yes. And then two more attacks. These two will hit. Oh. As one, one, it bites into you real quick, and you take nine damage. Um. Real quick. Um. And four. And then you take eight more damage as it claws into you as it's got you. Uh... <laughs> I'm passed out. <laughs> All right. Petricor falls over into the water. It starts sinking. I, I mean, I, I'm, 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 I'm amphibious. You are, so you won't <laughs> drown immediately. Yeah. But after four hours, man. Yeah, yeah. You're in a tough spot. <laughs> it's that's Got it. not. But the biggest worry is not suffocating. It's whether or not they find you. Sure. Well, to be fair. If she it depends how much if she, what she had in her lungs at the time before she starts sinking, you True. don't immediately oh. start sinking. Even if you're passed out, you float for a good bit, and then the water starts to get into your mouth, into your lungs. <laughs> That's fair, and for that, should be fine. It's just whether or not she rolls uh, terrible at death saves. Just saying, it doesn't mean she sinks right away. Fair, fair. All right, so that's their turn. Uh, two attacks against Albino. Both will hit. Unfortunate for him. Uh, that's a 10. Ooh, bad hit. And three. Six. And another 10. Not good. Two attacks against... No, one attack against... Or, no, it's two attacks. Two attacks against the Silver Guard. The other one. One will miss, but one will hit. That's a bite attack. That will be eight damage to her. Do, 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 do. One attack against Terry. Or two attacks against Terry. Both will hit. Terry. You're taking six damage for the first one. And six damage for the other one. So it's 12 damage total. Alright, don't forget about my temporary hit points. You don't have temporary hit points. Embrace of the Earth, baby. Oh, yes, you do. They're gone. So you take eight damage. Yes, I know they're gone, but does, I mean, don't forget her, that By the way, does her also being unconscious turn off Water Walk? Yes. Oh, wait, Terry, you take one point because you now have, uh. <laughs> you now have 11 temporary hit points with your ability. There you go. I was waiting for that. Right, cool. Derek, hi, man. Wild bunch. Put that's what we did there. <laughs> All right. Also, but does it though? It does. If a creature goes unconscious, take, the spell does uh, specify that eight, uh, ten willing creatures. Once you go unconscious, any spell effect usually goes away. I was say that usually goes when you're the caster. Not in this case, because uh, Nefra is <laughs> well. Nefra is unconscious, but you are still benefiting from aid. If Terry were to go unconscious, I'm you're still saying, benefiting from water walk. Water just walk right now. Specify. Hmm? I, was, I was just saying because like water walk doesn't specify. Yeah, so if it doesn't specify. You go by the rule that if they go unconscious, the spell ends. Because hmm. now they're not willing. DM fight. Yes. Hey, yes. Well, far be it for me to try to make sure that somebody doesn't That's... drown. Right? I'm amphibious. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm Gucci, man. You don't have gills. <laughs> I have. I can breathe water as easily as air. I'm Gucci. But does Percival know that? Roll me a history check, Percival. Sure. What you know uh, about the Genasi type. Right. As Albino will take do six damage to one of them. Fourteen? Oh shit. I don't want to close that. You're I feel like he could assume eighty percent of you is sure that she'll be fine. Her wounds are should be treated, but she will be fine underwater at the very least. Eighty percent of you is sure of that. <laughs> I'll take that as you will. All right, I'll be able to make one shot against that creature, and then the other Derek, or not Derek, I, the other one will miss terribly with the other shots. 
Derry, it's your turn. There are four remaining. All right. Um, was there still the two on Petricor? Yep. All right. Hey, buddies, guess what? You just lost your me shield. Night, ice time. There you go. <laughs> Clever. I like it. We're going to uh -huh. see the water diffuses the damage to that. <laughs> Never grew up. Yes. All right. So, Petricor, since you're unconscious, go ahead and roll me a d20 for the ice knife. Yeah, let's say, as we discussed, she doesn't sink that right away. That was a forward. So the, the part of that strategy isn't fully in effect yet. <laughs> right. That's a four that will miss. However, they still need to make dexterity saving throws. Neat. Both will fail. All right. So, Petricor, roll me 2d6. Eight. Eight. All right. Let me just double check one thing with Wild Shape for the... Uh, any spell attack. I might have made a mistake, but okay. I'll live with it. All right. Both of them take 12 damage. As an ice knife explodes between them, uh, laced with silver fl fire. Flyer? Fire. They look very hurt. They're still kicking. Terry, is there anything else you'd like to do? That's it for now. Okay. Top of the round, Petricor. Make me a death saving throw. Okay. Five. Five. Mark down one failure for your mm -hmm. death save. Percival, it's your turn. All right. Well, are any of them in like immediate vicinity of me? Uh, two closest are the two that were on Petricor, and they're about 10 feet away. Okay, cool. That allows me to get off the sinker from where I'm at. Mm -hmm. That way I can kind of move around. Um, I'm going to move a little bit back. Well, actually, first, does um, uh, so does this like crossbow have like a sling or something on it? Nope. Uh, I'm gonna first just hit the one that's uh, as I kind of move away. I'm just gonna hit the one that's next to Alb Albino. All right. Go ahead and make me an attack. Though. I don't need to use the disadvantage, but this will be a sharpshooter. Yes. I was like, haha, I no longer have disadvantage. 15. 15 will hit. Woohoo. Go ahead and roll damage. That's cocked. Yeah, it is. 16 damage. 16 damage. All right, it's dead. Awesome. It has died. It's now dead out. Is there still one over what was where Petricor's body was? There are two over where Petricor's body were. Uh, can I get, um, since well, I pretty much have most of my movement still, uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> outside of the difficult terrain aspect, can I get, like, in the space behind her and kind of drag her up? Or just start dragging her back? Well, she's currently underwater. We'll say she's, she was underwater enough to avoid the ice knife damage. Uh, so I'll say she's Wait, about... what did she take damage from, then? She did. Uh, she took. She didn't take damage. She failed a death save. Oh, she just failed it. Okay. Yes. So she's just five feet underwater. I thought that was on Terry's turn, so I was confused. Yes. No, it was Petricor's turn. She sank five feet and she wrote yeah. death save. Why she sink so fast? I don't make the rule. <laughs> Can't last more than six seconds floating. What kind of aquatic creature are you? You kill a and fish and it, you you quick you kill a fish and it immediately goes to the surface. What are you? Well, I'm uh, more than a fish. She's yeah, a so woman. You should be better. <laughs> I'm also a lady. So you should be yeah, better. She, she's a strong independent so you should lady. Be better. <laughs> slowly ble bleeding out underneath the waves. So why can't you float? Try. <laughs> <laughs> we you all don't do float down here. <laughs> well. I'm floating on top of the water, so I can't reach, like, I can't, like, dive for her. I get bounced back up to the top. You do. 
It's like the water rejects me now at this point. Mm -hmm. So reach with your arm. It is a stinted lover. Yeah, I was gonna say. So like, I, I, I can I reach her at all? You can reach <laughs> her, but then you'll be in melee with two different. Uh, you'll be in melee with two uh, marrow. Yeah, like I have to be. Damn you and your stupid sinking rules. <laughs> It was the only way so that Petrogor wouldn't get damaged. But yes, continue. She took the death save anyway. <laughs> yeah, because she rolled it bad. I rolled it bad. Could have been worse. She could have rolled a one anyway. <laughs> it difference. Yeah, then she would have been dead out. Actually, one, one with the waves. Make, a, make your mind. What are you going to do? I can't do anything, so go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to hell one of these days when I do it. Are you going to cry? <laughs> hey, you're the one who's about dead. I'll leave you down there, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you, you, there's nothing else you want to do, Percival? Nothing else I can do, no. All right. No worries. It's your turn. It helps right, nothing if I also go down. What? That it helps nothing if I also go down. So mm -hmm. no, I do nothing. All right. Well, you did go on the water, right? Yes. Okay, cool. Those two are gonna, those two injured marrow are gonna focus their attacks against you. Both will miss. Another natural one. Yes. Oh my god. All right. Let's see here. I'm rolling so well. Sounds like it. Okay, Maybe so you plus. don't know why you know this, Percival, but you know that one in particular will not receive any money from this encounter. Great. <laughs> Good to know. Thanks. I'm they all will attack. Uh, one will hit you, Percival. Uh, as the other one goes in attack, they both have two attacks. Uh, this one will do 11 damage. Point. As you take 11 damage. Yeah, that's not great. Yep. That's their turn. Uh, last one will make an attack against, or two attacks against Terry. Uh, Terry, one will hit you for. Ooh, max damage. How many were there? There are five. Okay. There's now three left. Yeah, there's three. All right, Terry, you take 12 damage. All right, and that's their turn. Next one, Abina will make an attack against the one that's attacking Terry. That will hit. And that will be for uh, 8 damage. Still alive, but it's not doing great. And then the other one, you, you see the other one um, get up, remove its helmet. And you see this woman uh, with uh, blue skin, but while uh, Petrichor's skin seems more clear and uh, smoother. Uh, this one seems to have a bit of a scalier complexion to it. Uh, you see the woman uh, appears um, uh, like a woman, but with uh, gills on her neck and hair oh, a triton. Uh, back. Yes. Wait. If Petrichor was here, she would know what that is. You see her leave her shield and spear behind and take a perfect swan dime down into the water. Save me. Fellow fish lady. That's her turn. Terry, it's now your turn. You have three very injured. Uh, Mero, what are you doing? Are they within five feet of each other? <laughs> they're also two within them... five feet of me. Yes, two of them Stop are. Stop using this spell and hurting feet. your party, damn it. <laughs> Keep using the spell and keep hurting your party, please. You have no idea what extra spells I picked up that I've been waiting to use. Oh, I but bet. That but... will affect a lot. Uh, <laughs> not right I, now. <laughs> I can see these. It's great. I won't. Aren't float. they fantastic? I'm wearing metal. <laughs> You're gonna if sink. If I fast. go down, I just will sink. <laughs> technically, you have a little bit of silver in you too. You know, I hear a little voice in my head saying Doesn't not to, anyway. but uh, when's the last time I listened to that guy? Uh, I'm going to actually twin spell Ray of Frost again on the one who dares attack me and the uh, other one, uh, right. whichever one's close. 
I'll just roll them for you. I rolled a d12 by accident. I've done it. I've peaked. <laughs> Both of them will hit. It's two d6s, right? No, two d8s. My bad. Eight. Ooh. Thirteen. Seventeen. All right. The one that was attacking you, Terry, gets blasted by cold energy and dies. And then, per Percival, one in front of you, moves in to attack you with another bite. You see it get uh, struck by this ray of frost, and it also dies as it falls down partially frozen. There's only one left right behind you. Terry, is there anything else you'd like to do? Um, once I put my stuff away for a minute. One second has passed. What would you like to do? Ah, damn. The thing I want to do requires too much effort. Um, the, the, that's it for this, then. All right, Petricor. Mm -hmm. Make me a death saving throw. Okay. Two. Second death save fail. Bro. One more and you have died. First of all, it's your turn. One still in melee with me. Yes. I mean, let's get in that point blank shot. Let's hope Triton can get to be a Titan. You know, I was gonna be a Triton for this adventure, but then he offered up those cat people. I'm like, got. <laughs> I hope. As a cat guy before, I'll be a cat girl this time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah, that will hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Also, just F4, I have 1% battery life. I'm heading to my charger, but I may just, you know, end up dead. <laughs> Give me a... Got it. All right. What'd you get? 20 damage. 20 damage. Uh, how do you want to kill this last one? Woo-wee! Right through the chest. Shot the through radiant the radiant light can eliminate the darkness. <laughs> it's like a Final Fantasy ending. <laughs> All right. You fire away. It being point blank. The distance it travels Hit me with your best in shot. a flash <laughs> and embeds itself in the creature's chest. And with a brief cry, you see violet blood along with uh, black ichor come out of its mouth. As it slowly sinks, its eyes going glazed uh, as it sinks down into the ocean as well. Die, right, cool. die, die, die. I need to get petrical. <laughs> Save me, please. And as you look down, you do see the tri uh, the trident lady has a ra uh, grabbed Petricorn or reached Petricorn's body at the very least. Um, and you see her run machine through Petricorn's uh, pockets. Whoa, wait until she's dead before you loot the corpse? Come on. She's underwater. Uh... I mean, I can't, like, dip down. Hey, you. Hey, you. <laughs> You see her quickly check through them, um, and then you see her reach into her own pack and pull out uh, what looks to be this uh, patch of sorts. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you uh, you see her put it on one wound, apply pressure or under the best she can under water, under water. And Petricor. Mm -hmm. Roll me a d20. Two. All right, hang on one second. Well, that wasn't my death saving. It was not. It was her medicine check. Yeah. But thanks to you. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I have to roll for it? Because it's you. It's fine. Uh, no, I mean, it's you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> it's My new fine. character? <laughs> no. I'm just saying. It's the new you. Oh, man. No, with a plus eight to her medicine, oh. Petricor, she barely succeeds in stabilizing you. Okay. 
barely had you rolled worse than a two. A one, otherwise known as. Yeah. <laughs> he is technically their field medic. Uh, oops. Right uh, which is why. Yeah, which is why. I really don't know who she is. I want, I want to be no, okay he, now. You don't ask questions. You also don't know who the tiefling's name is. I am less concerned about him, honestly. Uh, somebody who is actually healing our party, I would like to get to know. Uh, somebody <sighs> who is sitting there doing nothing and is the most Being suspicious person on the planet. Uh, he is effectively a prisoner at the moment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I second that. You're unconscious. But after a while... I'm not! Petro, <laughs> you are My left off over there. the water. You are stabilized, but you're still unconscious. Yeah, is she... Uh, Ooh, one point. Yep. Nope. You're still zero. You're at zero. You're just, you're just you oh, don't have what? to worry yeah. about. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Anymore. Yeah, you won't be dead. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um. Well, uh, she got in my spot. I guess I'll take a walk. <laughs> Bravo. Excellent work for all of you. As he's still there. You see, he has one foot on the hole. Water's still spraying in from it, but he's he's helping. Helping. Sure he is. Mm-hmm. As most of the water has does has returned to the sinker, and you see, um, Albion having removed his helmet is now just rapidly trying to bail out the ship. Nefro's body is still laying on the bench. Poor Nefro. I'm gonna try to pull out the trident. All right, the minute you grab it, make me a wisdom save. Oh God, no! <laughs> like oh, it has puking that. stuff. I'm aware of this. Okay. No, no. All right, fifteen. I forgot about it. Fifteen. You you yank it out. Are are you gonna throw it out? Or are you just gonna hold it? No. I'm gonna be stupid, and I'm gonna see if it'll fit in the hole. <laughs> From the from the handle side. All right. I'm not stabbing into it. I'm using the handle to see if yeah, I can plug yeah. the hole. All right. You you flip it in, in your grip, and you go to the hole. You go into place it above it. You think it's perfect, and you move down to place it in. The minute it's about to go to the hole, you see the uh, tiefling does move his feet, his foot, so you can put it in. You stop. A few inches above it. Felt like you don't you, you don't want to put it into the hole. God damn devil trident. <laughs> and in the back of your mind you start hearing uh you see what you start hearing a <sighs> chatter. Drop that bitch. Drop that bitch. Yeah, no, I'm just, just gonna I'm just gonna chuck it into the ocean then. You turn to throw it. You don't want to. God damn it. These cursed you sons at... of bitches. <laughs> and that's where we're going to end the session for tonight. Ah. Jesus Christmas. As the water continues flowing, the tiefling looks. You're not going to... You're not going to put a cork in it? So yes. So next week... What will happen to the performance? Will Nefra and Petrichor wake up? What will Percival do now that he's apparently con uh, been touched by a cursed object? Other than his backstory. This and is too much. Too much. Wrong will, die. will Terry not look immaculate in Silver Flames? Find out next week on Embers Never. by Daybreak. The answer is no. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Bye. Bye.